Welcome to Land of House. Today is a different kind of video. I am camping on Mount Mitchell, the commissary trail. It's a very flat and uh, easy one mile or so to uh, close to Camp Alice. Thought I would bring you along. I've got uh, some old friends we're meeting up here and uh, just gonna have a good relaxing time. It's actually been close to two years since pretty much any of the four of us have camped out. So uh, I know that I am overpacked, but might as well bring all the stuff. But anyway, hope you enjoy the hike. Well, my thoughts about bringing something to eat like that, that you have to cook was, I've not camped in two years and I've got all this stuff. I might as well use it. It's amazing how you can be so deep in the woods and then come out here to I believe this peak right here is Mount Mitchell and we actually parked at the restaurant which is hard to see right over here next to this tree and we hiked along the ridge to the ranger station and then on down this trail here uh, it's incredibly easy basically it's just a road but we should be getting pretty close to our destination which is close to camp alice if i'm not mistaken this is the headwaters of the mighty south toe river which uh, goes into the North Toe and becomes the Toe River. If you can uh, see the theme here, uh, it's actually short for Estito. We've hiked over two miles. We are either going to be there very soon or we are going in the wrong direction. So we'll let you know uh, pretty soon. And we have arrived. It's a very nice spot. Plenty of places in through here to pitch a tent up. And there's also a fireplace with a stone wall over here where my buddy is. But I believe that I'm going to stake out this little spot here and go ahead and get the tent set up. This is my third trip out with the Obspray pack. Uh, worked out really well. And then I'm gonna be setting up this uh, tiny Camp Pal tent that was on the channel reviewed not too long ago. So let me go ahead and put you on a little time lapse. The Camp Pal tent goes up nice and quick. Let's go ahead and put the things inside to get that inflated. Got a uh, seat here, got a little food bag, hopefully it's enough. It's got a cooking pot here. And I like to use a trash bag inside to uh, keep things dry in case it were to rain. So let's pull out this stuff real quick. I'm gonna use this Nemo, it's the tensor. It's got the insulated layers of space blanket. Hopefully this tent is long enough for this long pad. Guess we're about to find out. Let's see, I think we'll do head down there. This is what makes this sleeping pad so nice. It's this pump sack. Fills this thing up real quick. So basically you just put this little valve into this one over here and then you blow into it and it fills it up super quick. Fills up like that. Close this and then you just push down to fill it up. So much better than having to breathe into it. Temperature is supposed to be down to 40 tonight. So I've got a sleeping bag that I've had for about 22 years, I believe. 
I bought this 75% off at a nature store I used to work for, a company called Jack Wolfskin. This is the Skylight model, but uh, it's a 32 degree bag. Should be perfect for tonight. Well, I know a chiropractor if you need one. So. <laughs> Let's see how this Amazon product does. It's like a ten dollar stove. What brand is it? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Somewhere in this bag is a surprise I'm not supposed to eat. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Let me show you boys how to do this. They brought a flare in there, just stuck it in the middle of that thing, and away she went. Nice. Oh, here's a little thing here. Put these so we can reach them. Screw it. Maybe I should read the instructions. <laughs> before, <laughs> before they burn. <laughs> We have a really great place to camp up here. I have missed this so much. So uh, I've got my little Sawyer water filter that hooks up to a bag. And there's supposed to be a running creek just up here. Figured I would uh, fill up my water bottle uh, for the night and for breakfast in the morning. I'm actually hoping to retire from my third shift job by the end of the this year, 2021. And so I will be hopefully free to do this a lot more on the weekends. Um, the guys that are with me today also have weekends off and should be able to go a lot more as well. So should be fun. There's a small waterfall over here and then a much larger waterfall down off on that side. But I think I'll just uh, fill up my little bag over here and filter this into my bottle. I had a bag kind of like that, but it was so old, mm -hmm. it just, it lost the lining on the inside and it started poking holes. I was like, okay, thank you for sharing all the work that you've already done. Not sure if it got down to 39 like it was supposed to, uh, but the wind definitely makes it cool out here. Well, luckily, the food is still hanging where we left it. Guess it's time to get that back down. Well, that concludes the camping portion of this trip. This little section up here, we had our uh, three tents up, but if you just push down some of this grass, you could definitely fit a lot more. But this camping spot just goes on and on over there. So you could definitely have way more tents here than we did. Um, if you're looking to hike and camp this trail, it's a pretty good one. Uh, I slept okay for a couple hours. My sleeping bag is too small. I've had it for uh, 15 plus years. Uh, 
You said you didn't sleep very well? Not really. Moon was too bright? Moon was really bright. <laughs> and uh, our other two guys have already uh, walked out, but uh, one slept outside, said he had a rat crawl over him, and the other one, I think, slept the best out of all of us. Um, but I think he sleeps good anywhere he is. Yeah, it says Gore-Tex, we're gonna find out. So far, so good. <laughs> We've only got two more miles to go, so it better work. <laughs> the trail from the ranger station to where we camped out is basically a very low grade gravel road. And uh, the section of trail between the restaurant and the ranger station is an actual trail. We were just saying that we were kind of spoiled on the gravel road before getting to this trail. Oh, it's 0, 0.0 miles to the top. Sweet. We're there. Just took a trip up to the very top of Mount Mitchell, and I believe that's going to conclude our first hiking camp of 2021. I think it went pretty good, except for uh, no sleep, but that was kind of expected on the first trip out. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to do a fun and easy trail, the commissary, hopefully I'm saying that right, commissary trail was a very enjoyable one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.